My name is Patrick Lemons. I'm a classical producer and sound engineer, and I'm specialized in orchestral recordings and film scores. We are here at Galaxy Studios to record uh, an expansion library for Easy Keys 2 and we are recording melodic percussion. So um, we are doing mallet instruments that is vibraphone, marimba, glockenspiel and xylophone. Galaxy Studios is actually very good for recording this library for two reasons I would say. The first reason being that it sounds really good. It's a big studio, it has a, an acoustics that work well for a symphonic orchestra and is big enough to house a symphonic orchestra and these instruments are supposed to be orchestral percussion instruments. And on the other hand, it is a very well insulated studio, so there's no noise coming from the outside into the studio, which is very important when you do sampling for, of instruments because there you record a note of that instrument until the note is completely gone and the noise floor has to be very low so that you can capture the note in its entirety. So in order to achieve a big flexibility of this library, we chose to set up a lot of microphones. These microphones for the room sound are all omnidirectional because the room is so well controlled and, and uh, nice sounding that it is actually desirable, not only possible, but also desirable to capture a lot of the sound of the room itself, rather than when you're in bad acoustics where you try to blend out the room and only record the instrument. The good thing about Galaxy Studios is that they have many different recording rooms and one of them is actually big enough to set up the same microphone setup that we had put in the main hall. But this room is actually equipped with a much drier acoustics. So recording an instrument in that room gives a much closer and much more intimate feel to it. But in addition to this room sound, we wanted to capture the instruments in different ways, meaning that we wanted to be able to provide the user of the library with different sound colors, different flavors. And therefore, we mic'd up different pairs of microphones. We have tube microphones, we have uh, field effect transistor microphones, and we have ribbon microphones. The sampling process itself was actually very interesting. First of all, it starts with the players. And um, for that, we chose the same players that also were involved in recording the library for orchestral percussion. The funny thing about them is that um, it's a father and two sons, and all three of them are professional percussion players and they're not only drummers and, and uh, snare drum or timpani players but they play all different kinds of percussion instruments. 
So it was very logical that we would ask them again, especially because uh, they have specialized in these uh, mallet instruments. So when they arrived, they brought a ton of different mallets for each instrument. Uh, I think at least, I would say, a hundred different sticks and mallets. And um, we started with just testing out which mallets would make most sense to sample because, again, we wanted to be very flexible in uh, our library so that the clients in the end would be able to use it for different purposes. Listening back to the final product now, I'm very happy and very satisfied about it because um, back at the recording I thought let's put much effort and time in finding the right mallets, the right instruments, the right players, the right location so that the recording in the end will be something that I would be proud of. Hearing the recording itself, I think it's even better than that. It's something that is so flexible that everybody can use it in a different way and still achieve the perfect product for themselves. <laughs>